Mm-hmm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. I don't even know how to start this video, but um, I want to start posting on my channel again, hopefully. And I can't, well, not that I can't, but I, th I rather do that knowing that I've already put what I'm going through out there. And by going through, I mean this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I want to start posting videos again. Um, it's going to be rough, but I do want to get back on that. I actually have a lot of old videos that just need to edit and post. And I might post old videos and I might post some new ones but regardless I just wanted to post this first um, and try and ease my way back into social media especially um, on the business side because I've been really MIA and for a good reason I'm not gonna get into the details in this video but I um, this pregnancy so far has been a struggle um, and even right now as I'm talking I don't feel well I have a migraine and um, the spitting and nausea and all of that if if you knew how my pregnancy with Josiah went if if you are my friend and like know me personally for me to say that um, this one is actually worse in terms of the sickness and stuff you know it's bad because I went through it with my last pregnancy as well and it's really hard to film talking videos right now because of the spitting and hawking and stuff but one of my symptoms is that um, my body is producing excess saliva so um, and I can't just swallow it because then that makes it makes me nauseous and then I want to vomit so I have to spit it out so I have a spit bottle. <laughs> I don't have it out here with me because I'm outside right now. But yeah, I have a spit bottle. And on top of the spitting, um, uh, mucus is excess mucus is forming in my throat, which is another symptom. I'm not gonna get into the details in this video because I'm already trying to not spit. <laughs> but yeah but well, the lighting is better this way but um what was i saying see i done lost my train of thought but yeah those are the two symptoms that would actually prevent me from recording talking videos because it'll be a very hard time editing out all of the breaks i take to spit and it's not pleasant but it is a symptom of my pregnancy and it is what it is I have to accept it and y'all don't but it is what it is <laughs> but yeah I am pregnant I am currently 15 weeks and three days um, I'm showing way more <laughs> like how my belly look now is how I looked at seven months when I was pregnant with Josiah but I started showing way sooner this time and I've been gaining it the first trimester I gained a lot of weight because when I first found out I was pregnant I was eating a lot I had a big appetite all of that has changed now <laughs> I don't have an appetite but I gained a lot of weight within those first few weeks so yeah I'm gonna record I'm gonna try and record a video that actually goes into details but this video is just me putting it putting it out there that I'm pregnant and um I actually recorded a video um, a couple days after I found out I was pregnant just it was really for me so um, and and that was back in February so I might add it to this video just so that you guys can see my initial react reaction but there's a lot of components to it um, yeah so yeah I'm pregnant baby number two Uh, anyways, I'm going to add the other video now, um, probably a clip of it for um, 
it's, it's probably like nine minutes. I don't know. I can't remember. I recorded it, like I said, in February when I first found out. So I'm going to add it to this just to share more info on how I initially felt when I first found out I was pregnant. Um, a lot has changed since then. We're all the way in April. That was back in February. So um, I'm going to record a separate video to update you guys on basically what I've been experiencing and how, what I'm going through. So enjoy. So today is Thursday. February 20th, 2020, and Tuesday, February 18th, I took a pregnancy test and it came back positive. In fact, I have it right here. See that? It says pregnant. So let me tell y'all how I ended up taking pregnancy tests. So on Sunday, February 16th, I had an event to go to where I was a vendor at, you know, selling my gem stylistic products. It was great. I was out there all day. Um, a very successful event. But that night when I came home, I wasn't feeling too good. And then the next day I felt worse. Um, I was going to the bathroom every minute. I felt like like diarrhea, like I just kept going. Um, I assumed I had a stomach bug or something, and I also assumed that maybe a brownie that I purchased, a vegan brownie that I purchased at the festival this Sunday maybe was upsetting my stomach. So uh, I was just like out of it. I was tired, my stomach was hurting. I kept going to the bathroom, but I honestly convinced myself that I had a stomach virus or something. <sighs> Nothing in my mind ever told me that I was pregnant. Like it wasn't even a thought. And usually if like I start to feel weird, that's the first thing that pops into my head. But I already had this planned out. I was like, okay, my period came last month. Um, it's irregular because I'm still breastfeeding. But, you know, once it comes this month, I'm good. And then there's this thing called natural cycle that I was going to get so that I can count my days since my, my period is off. That would allow me to count my days and know when I'm ovulating or fertile based on my temperature. So I was going to get that in order to, you know, continue doing my natural birth control method. But your girl already knocked up. <laughs> so um, what happened is that the Tuesday, you know, I was still feeling off, still going to the bathroom, like feeling nauseous, everything. So my fiance was like, I don't know you to ever have a stomach virus or feel sick like this. So you need to take a pregnancy test. I was like, a pregnancy test? Why? No, he actually said, I'm going to buy you a pregnancy test. I was like, I have a pregnancy test upstairs, but why would I need to take that? I honestly think this is just a stomach virus. And he was like, no, you need to take it. And even if it's not that, at least you'll be able to rule out pregnancy, but you still need to take one. So he's the reason I even ended up taking one. I, I went upstairs, like, I was like, this is no big deal. Like, it's gonna be negative. Like, I literally did not think I was pregnant. <sighs> Y'all, I freaked out. I freaked out. I cried and I cried and I cried. And I cried because I, I do want more children, but now, in my mind it's not the time and I had no plans to be pregnant this year at all but it is what it is I'm taking it one day at a time trying to accept it I'm trying to make sure this time is different that I'm in a more peaceful and calm mind state throughout everything and um, I'm trying to think positive and just hoping that I'm not as sick as I was the last time. So far, instead of like vomiting, I've just been shitting a lot. <laughs> and if I'm being honest, I'd rather that than throwing up every morning. So if that continues, then by all means, let it continue. 
but um, this time does feel different so far. I did go on Google and put into a, a calculator is a some pregnancy calculator thing to determine how far along I am. And based on the first day of my last period, I should be six weeks. And um, yeah, I haven't gone to the doctor yet. I haven't thought about scheduling an appointment yet. I think I'm still in denial for the most part. But I just want to take this one day at a time. I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but that was from another appointment. It's like a follow-up because I did some blood work. So that appointment is a follow-up appointment. And you know, I'll just speak to my doctor one time. But this is very unexpected. I don't want to tell anybody. The only people that know, is, of course, is my fiancé and my parents. That's it. My sisters, my siblings, nobody know. My friends don't know. And that's mainly because I don't want to hear the whole, oh, that's why I'm on birth control. Because my choice for not using birth control is a personal choice. And it's a choice that I made based on my health based on protecting my reproductive system because I know I do want more children in the future. And I know that if I was able to count my days the way I used to, I would be able to continue my natural birth control method, but I wasn't able to. And I procrastinated too much on getting the natural cycle thermometer and app that would have helped me do that. And that's on me. But um, I'm just trying to remind myself that the universe isn't going to give me more than I can handle. And maybe this is happening for a reason. You know, um, my son is, he'll be 19 months tomorrow. And I had no, absolutely no plans on having two children this year. <laughs> like, I, I really didn't. But... It is what it is, and at the end of the day, a child is a blessing, and that's how I'm going to look at it, but for now, I am just keeping this to myself because I don't need judgment from anybody, from my friends, my family, nobody. Like, I don't want to, if one person tell me, oh, you should have been on birth control, I think I will pop off on them. So I'm just keeping it to myself right now. Um... And we'll see how it goes. I might tell my friends maybe next month or so. You know, this changes a lot. I had a girl's trip planned for my birthday in May. Then now I'll have a baby bump. And I don't know. I still want to do it. But, like, I don't know how they're going to feel about it. I just don't need the judgment. Like, I really don't. Like, I've, I've already beat myself up. And I'm trying to make this video without crying. I cried enough already I'm just trying to be positive and if me sharing this information with anybody is going to bring any negative energy into my mind and my, my space right now I'd rather just keep it within my little family of course I told my mom because she is my go to person she's my rock so I told her but that's it that's the only people that know right now that's the only people that's going to know until I decide to tell others, which I don't know when that will be. So I am just gonna see how this goes. Like, I don't even know. I am gonna try to document this journey um, and maybe share it in the long run, but I know I won't be sharing it right now. So um, if you are watching this in the future, thank you for watching and you guys will see me in my next video. Peace. And you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic and everything you do. Isn't that nerds? Perfect.